Close the camps. 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 What do we want? Close the camps. What do we want? Close the camps. What do we want? Close the camps. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. Power to the people. Power to the people. Brothers and sisters, truthfully, I did not come here to speak today. I saw Hetty Rosenstein from CWA. I saw her on Sunday down in Trenton, and she said, Larry, we're having a demonstration. She mentioned you, Stacy. She said, we're having a demonstration on Tuesday. Why don't you come? She didn't say speak or anything like that. She just said, why don't you come? So. When I finished work today, I got in my car. We got to do this. All right. Every time a plane comes, as we put our fists up. So I got in my car after work, and I told Siri, 625 Evan Street, get me there. And I came, and man, there's so many people here today, there's nowhere to park. This is a great turnout yeah. today. This is great. Yeah. And people are still coming in. And I want to thank all the groups, the organizations, the individuals that have been having protests prior to today, that have been going to the county freeholder meetings that have been going to all the other meetings to bring this issue to the people. Give those groups and people and organizations a big hand. Yeah. What has our country come to? These are not detention centers. These are concentration camps. Thank you. In the 21st century, this country that fought against fascism in World War II, this country that sent soldiers abroad to fight Nazis in the European theater, this country, everybody raise your hand. concentration camps. This country is putting children in cages. On the news today, I heard them say that in some of these camps, people are drinking out of the toilet. Shame! 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 This country is raiding and tearing families apart Shame. and deporting thousands of people. This country doesn't have an immigration policy. It has rising fascism within our own borders. And we must stop it here and now. So I join with you. I don't have a manifesto with me today, but just common sense tells me we got to close these damn camps. Yeah. Yeah. Every one of them, all around the country, we got to close these camps and treat the people who are seeking a better life, seeking asylum, fleeing from oppression and persecution, treat them like the human beings they are. Yes. They deserve yes. human dignity.
I'm so uplifted to see you all here today. Your white faces, your Latino faces, your black faces. The rainbow is here today. And this is one of the great things, brothers and sisters, that is appearing in our country. There was a time when they could keep the immigration rights struggle over here and keep black people struggle for liberation over here and keep white workers struggle over here and keep women's struggles over there and keep the gay struggle over there. Today we say we are linking our struggles together in one people movement. All right, we need 36 people just to come up here. Random people. Random, it don't matter. Just come up if you, just 36. We're gonna count. I need to lock, we have a lock arm. Stacy said lock arms. 36 people to represent the 36 people that were arrested. We can make a pass or we can have the people come. The other day.
47. We have probably another, we're up to 42. <laughs> Extra is a good symbol. Speed. We have quite a few. Raise your hands if you wish you were one of the 36. <laughs> okay. These are, thank you. These are the people we need to come out and we need to get organized and we need to have people here almost 24-7. We heard what Mr. Gill said. It doesn't happen overnight. We've been working at it for years. But how many airplanes are we up to? 37. You've been here less than an hour. Ding, ding, ding. Yep. Actually, it's 43 minutes. 38. Imagine being in this hellhole. This is a hellhole. Okay, and with that, we're going to have someone else speak. The next person on the list 